What's up sisters? Today I'll be showing you how I achieve this holiday look. I'll be doing a hair tutorial and a makeup tutorial in this video. First, I'm starting off with an old twist out. I'm going to two strand flat twist the size of my head. If you want a tutorial on how to two strand flat twist, please check out Tony's two strand flat twist video. Um, a link will probably be added to the description box. Um, so I'm just sectioning off my hair right now. I'm going to spray some water to add a little moisture in and then I'm going to add some Fantasia gel to the base of uh, the root of my hair just to get some frizz control. And like always, I like to separate my hair or my strand of hair so it's easier for me to two strand flat twist. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to My Natural Sisters and join your sisterhood on MyNaturalSisters.com to get great giveaways and join the threads. Also subscribe to our individual channels. Mine is Lynette Silhouettes and I've started posting some vlog style videos. The links will be in the description box. Also subscribe to India and Tony's YouTube page as well. As you can see, I two strand flat twisted in an upward angle. I'm just going to finish two strand twisting all the way to the end. You should do this to both sides of your head. Once I finish with that, I'm going to spray the rest of my hair. I'm going to be using a satin band by Q-Fit. You can find that at a beauty supply store or by the nightcap, nightcaps and do-rags and stuff. I have a black one I like to use a lot. I'm going to first lay down my edges using Curls Blueberry Bliss Control Paste. I'm adding that to the front in the back of my head. I'm just going to use a brush to lay all that down. We're going to come back to the edges later on in the videos to make them all nice and slayed and all that stuff. Once I got um, everything brushed down, I'm going to take the band and I like to wrap it around my whole head and then bring the strand strands back around. And then I'm just going to scoop the band all the way up my head bringing my hair up into a puff make sure you are aware of your two strand flat twist it is covering those as well and I'm just going to wrap the band back around and tie it in the back once I secure my puff I'm going to just fluff it a little bit more and then I found some Marley hair laying around the house I'm going to take about eight strands of the Marley hair and I'm going to create a two strand twist and I'm just going to secure it at the bottom with a little band um, rubber band or something and then I'm going to bobby pin it around the base of my puff now you can make the twist um, a little smaller if you want or even bigger but I'm just securing the um, two strand Marley hair um, to the base of my puff with the bobby pin and then I'm just fluffing my puff out a little bit more to give it a little bit more shape than what it has and make it a little bit bigger and that's how the puff looks pretty simple and easy now I'm laying my edges down with my toothbrush and I'm using the brown gel I showed earlier the Fantasia gel and I'm just creating my little S swirls throughout the um, front of my head and that is it for the hair tutorial. Now to the makeup. I'm going to first start off with filling in my brows and I'm prepping and priming my face with MAC and also Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm applying this all over my face. Um, I do have an eyebrow tutorial on the channel so definitely check that out. And once I'm done priming, I will also like to add a little moisture to my lips before I get started so they can be ready for some lipstick later. I'm going to first start with my eyes. I'm using NARS Concealer. This color is caramel and I'm applying it just to the lid as a good base. And I'm also using Morphe 350 eyeshadow kit. I'm going to use my transition color which is like a camel orange. I like to place right above my eyelid and or crease and right below my brow bone. It's a good transition color. And then I'm going to go into this very dark mocha um, brown and I'm apply this all over my lid and blend it into the crease of my eye and once I'm done with that I'm gonna add a nice um, softer brown more chocolatey color I would say into the crease of my um, eye just to give a good blend between the transition color and the dark mocha color once I'm done with that I'm going to also add that mocha color to the um, my bottom eyelid 
Now I'm going through color correcting any dark circles or spots I may have using the LA Colors um, Pro Concealer. And then I'm going to put my foundation on. I'm using Maybelline's Matteless and Poreless um, Classic 10 Foundation. And I'm just applying it all over. And then I'm going to go back over and blend it with a beauty blender. And my beauty blender is damp. And once I'm done with that, um, I forgot to put my eyeliner on, so I'm using my Stella Pin Black Eyeliner, and I'm creating a wing liner. I also have a tutorial on eyeliner as well, if you want more details. And then I'm going back through to, and I'm also applying some liner to my waterline. Now I'm going to um, go through and highlight my face using my um, NARS concealer and this color is Biscuit I believe and I'm just going through my highlight points which is under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, chin, above my lip and my forehead and I'm just blending that in with a beauty blender. Once I'm done blending the concealer in I'm going to set it with some loose powder. I'm using a blend of Ben 9 um, um, setting powder and the colors are the banana and the camel color. Sometimes I use Laura Mercier to set my foundation and concealer but today I'm just using the Ben 9. While I'm letting it bake I'm contouring my face with Anastasia Beverly Hills contour powder kit in deep and I'm just applying it to the contour spots such as the chin and cheek underneath your cheekbones, forehead, and nose. And then I'm going to dust off the remaining loose powder from baking. Now I'm going to take Anastasia Glow Kit and I'm going to take the color Dripping in Gold and I'm going to apply that to my cheekbones and other places I would like to highlight a little bit more such as my nose and stuff like that. Now I'm going to apply Nobby Lip Liner in the color Hot Cocoa and line my lips. And then I'm going to use Anastasia Liquid Lipstick Color Ashton and apply that all over. And also I'm going to put her color strip to the center of my lip to create an ombre effect to my lips. Once I'm done with my lips, I'm going to put my mascara on. I'm using my favorite Tarte Lights Camera Flashes. And then I also put on Ardell's Demi Wispy Lashes. I'm going to also highlight my tear ducts and my brow bone just to give a little bit more pop of um, shimmer and I'm setting my face with MAC Prep and Prime Fix Spray and then I'm done. You can choose to accessorize this hairstyle if you like. I'm using a headband to create a halo. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. All products will be listed in the description box. Don't forget to like and subscribe to My Natural Sisters and check out our individual channels. Happy holidays. Peace out sisters.